Regular battery maintenance is necessary to keep your car ready to go because dealing with a dead car battery can be a real pain. How many volts a car battery has is one of the most important questions you might have. It's critical to comprehend this number in order to maintain the health of your vehicle's battery. In this video, we look at the ideal range of car battery voltage. We also discuss how to test the car battery voltage. How many volts is a car battery ideal range? When the engine is off, a car battery's voltage should be between 12.2 and 12.6 volts. When the engine is running, the voltage of a fully charged car battery ranges from 13.7 to 14.7 volts. The voltage may decrease to 12.4 volts when the battery is 75% charged. The voltage will be about 12 volts at a 25% charge. You can determine where the voltage registers on the car battery and compare it to the ideal range by measuring it. Even though it states that the battery is 12 volt, different car battery types may have slightly different measurements. To determine whether the voltage readings are good or bad, it's crucial to check the rating for the specific car battery you have. Testing car battery with multimeter. Configure multimeter. The voltage of the car battery can be rapidly read out using a multimeter. These gadgets will provide you with accurate readings and are reasonably priced to purchase. Before you test the car, let it sit overnight. It is best to test it once with the engine running and once after the car has been at rest. The multimeter should be set to DCV at 20. Test battery. Touch the multimeter's negative terminal with its black lead. Don't touch the leads together, please. Place the red lead, or positive end, on the battery's positive terminal using your free hand. Following the same procedures while the engine is running, you can record this measurement as well. Read measurement. You will read the measurement differently depending on the type of multimeter you own. You may have a digital multimeter that displays the number on a screen, or it may be displayed on a dial range. On a healthy battery, the voltage on the meter should be between 12.4 and 12.6 volts when the engine is off. After starting the vehicle's engine and allowing the alternator to begin charging the electrical system, the measurement ought to increase. The circuit is flowing in the wrong direction if the reading is negative, which indicates that the leads are connected to the incorrect sides. Test car battery without a multimeter. You can test the car battery even if you don't have access to a multimeter. These steps can give you an idea of the condition of the car battery, but the results won't be as precise as if you had the tool. At least you'll know if your car's battery is about to die and leave you stranded. Park the vehicle so that the headlights are clearly visible in front of a wall or garage door. With the engine off, turn on the headlights for 15 minutes. Turn on the ignition. As the starter spins the engine, the lights may dim momentarily but they should soon come back to life. You may have a dead or dying battery if they get very dim, or if starting the engine is difficult. Another possibility is a discharge brought on by a failing alternator if the lights don't return when the engine is running. With the engine running, the alternator charging system should provide the necessary power for the lights and electrical equipment. Whether you are idling or revving the engine, the headlights stay steady and bright when everything is functioning properly. If not, have the vehicle's battery examined. How many volts does a car battery need to start? Depending on a number of variables, the car battery requires a different voltage to start. The beginning voltage may vary depending on the season, be it summer or winter. In addition, the size of the engine and the requirements for gas and diesel engines differ. In addition, the engine's temperature will also affect whether it is cold or already heated. In general, the battery voltage will be approximately 12.6 volts if the engine has not been running. The battery may still be able to crank over the engine if the voltage reading drops below 12 volts. The engine will have trouble starting if the voltage falls below 11.8 volts. Starting a car engine with a low voltage, less than 11 volts, is practically impossible. When should car battery be replaced? The battery is one of the most vital parts of your car since it powers all of the electrical accessories when the engine is not running, so it's crucial to test it every six months because colder weather can put a lot of strain on a battery that is already having trouble, you should also check it if the temperature drops significantly. You should replace the battery if it isn't retaining a charge as it should. Otherwise, you might find yourself stranded with a non-starting car engine. Naturally, this circumstance never arises at a convenient time. Before needing to be replaced, most car batteries will last for at least four years. However, the battery's lifespan is greatly influenced by how you handle it. Longer drives can help the battery last longer. It is best to connect the car battery to a charger while it is at home if you are only able to take brief sporadic trips. Additionally, you should maintain corrosion-free terminals and conduct routine physical inspections of the battery. Hope the information was helpful. If so, 
Please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.